Hey y'all, it's Nikki, Torian Goddess. I'm coming in with a message. Yeah, it just made me do that, y'all. There's some supernatural activity going on tonight. Just over here, or are y'all feeling it too? It's something in the air. Uh huh. See, I don't like this energy because I'm sick of these messages. Somebody being betrayed within their union, within their relationship. And it's about to be made public. I can't stand that car, y'all. I apologize. Y'all hear it a lot, right? Maybe that be emphasizing the message. Somebody's person living foul. You being bamboozled. It's competition you don't even know about. And you done already healed from the last betrayal. They said three is a crowd. That's that's what I heard. But see, from you healing from the last one, you went through a deep transformation. Yeah. All that emotional pain made you go through a transformation because shit been rough. But your money looking up right now. This person gone. It's pissing me off because this person, they, 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 they being nosy now. They all off in your shit. They spying on you. They spying on you because they think the walk that they on, you on the same path, but you're not. Y'all not seeing eye to eye, but you trying to. You trying. You been praying on it. You been meditating on it. This person came in like big dog, though. They provided some stability, some power, some protection. They came off as the good guy. But it's been a few times... My Z said that they done been a total hypocrite. Because, see, they not walking the walk and talking the talk. They shady. Somebody about to have a change of job or a change of home. That's when my G said, that's when... That solace take place, that's when that healing take place, too. Mm -hmm. That creative intelligence that you have, that's, that's when you become emotionally balanced. They said you, you need to recognize who you are, because you the shit. Mm -hmm. A storm coming. But you know what? Storms ain't always bad. It's just some dismantling of some shit. Perhaps a job, relationship. I mean, you know, some shit crumble. To change your perspective. To change it. Yeah. Because this person got on a mask. They showing you one side. They like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. My G said they they under a disguise right now. But you got good fortune coming. Is it a split? Is it a split coming? That's gonna cause that's it's gonna cause you a little bit of grief. But yeah, my G said. 
You're going to have expansion through that. That's where progress is going to be met. With this dispersion of this person. Who plucking off on somebody else. That's what they do when they... They they celebrating with somebody else, and it's behind your back. They they causing this division. It's them, so don't feel bad. But you about to discover some shit again. Nick says you strong though, but this is gonna put this is gonna be the catalyst here. <clears throat> yeah, it's going to have you withdrawing because you are already checking in for alignment. You are already hollering at yourself like this ain't what I do. This ain't what I'm made of. I'm I'm this this I'm I'm a G too. I'm a G and I deserve to be treated like one. Yeah, I deserve to be treated like one. You a little icy towards this person. You embarrassed by some things too, which having which is having you go back and forth with yourself. You've been reflecting about some things because you know this pain all too well. I said, I said, my G said that this ain't the first or second time. You got a firm understanding of this already. So. What's going on? It's messing with your inner happiness. You curious about new ways of doing things anyway. Because you then stepped your game up. You dealt with yourself. You didn't dealt with yourself. They said you went through a deep transformation and it's been this sadness and betrayal that made you do it. It's been too many disputes. Y'all not even on the same scale. Y'all not. You outgrew this person. And you thinking about dipping anyway. Because it's been too many things repeated. It's like this shit deja vu. Deja vu, boo. No, it's, it's bullshit after bullshit. And just when you thought that that y'all was finding your niche, then here comes some more bullshit. Because they real ain't your real. And they said it's been a long ass time that you've been dealing with it too. They say it ain't nothing really too much possible. And you both tired of going through the bullness anyway. Because y'all not on the same page. Y'all don't even have the same vision anymore. And and you be going through some, you, be, you having headaches and shit, you stressing out that bad about it. You going through some physical suffering along with this, these emotional ups and downs. Because you keep going against you. You keep rethinking some shit. And my G said, be, str be strong. Because you are already brave. You are already brave. You already got the, the mental strength. You done been through some things. So this tango ain't really much. But it's, 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 it's depleting you. Because this person abusing their power, but my G's said, my G's said, choose wisely. You got a domestic harvest coming. <laughs> so that, yeah, that's what they said. Prosperity coming. Prosperity coming. Somebody's soulmate on the horizon. Mm, that's what they said. Whoever this person is, they from your past. And they reminiscing about you. They crying over spilled milk. Yeah. Somebody who was persistent with you on a regular 
a, a regular basis. They it was always some delays caused though. But when they was opposed to you, or you opposed to them, they still my G said they still they still stood strong because y'all y'all had a happy thing going on there. Y'all y'all was solid. That's what my G said. Yeah, that's what they said. <clears throat> Excuse me. You said you had a stalemate. You can't make your mind up. But shit, it's been a little disastrous for real. It's like y'all not even together right now is what they said. They said your judgment clouded though. Like you got the incapacity to think for yourself because you it's, it's familiar. you used to it. But what about you though? This person ain't, they, they not having the, no, no discretion with your feelings. None. They not even on your level no more like I said. They they wisdom they 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 wisdom ain't on your level. And they said they fake, and you indecisive about it. Y'all can't even have an intellectual conversation. Is what my G said. They said you you you're outgrowing the small talk. And you curious about new opportunities, creative opportunities, and new possibilities to come into your life. You feel like this person is mentally and emotionally messed up. And that's why y'all always having so many arguments. Because they have, you've been dealt with yourself. You had a transformation through whatever was going on with y'all. You had to delve deep within your repertoire and do some mending of your heart. And you realize that you had to change your ways. And you feel good about it, too. But this person, they always up to the same shit. Always up to the same shit. They keep bringing their past to their present. But your past want to come back, too. That's what they said. Your past want to come back too. Mm. They need you to do an ambition check. Because you're dealing with an asshole, a flaky person, somebody who been fake and disloyal to you. Yeah, but you already fully aware of it, is what they said. They said you fully aware. You got a gut feeling about some things, but prophecy about to be fulfilled. That's what I heard. The prophecy about to be fulfilled. Your desires be worth more than what it is that you're going through. This person is causing too much grief in your life and they want you to let it go. Because nothing is possible is what they said. This person can't bring you the sense of security that you want with yourself. This person is not going to be able to give you the type of relationship that they that you want. They said they're not even deserving of you. You outgrow them. They mediocre to, to you. And it's not working. And, and it is too much petty energy because they petty. They immature as hell. They came in like a G, but they ended up being a sucker deluxe with cheese. Mm -hmm. They said, what you waiting on? What you waiting on? Your future, you got love and money in it, but you you gotta overcome some shit first. 
You do. You gotta overcome some shit. You gotta you gotta let some shit fall to the wayside and do away with people, places and things that don't serve you because that's not where your happiness lies. Your happiness lies in your future. They said don't even rely on your present. It's one for the archives. You're going to feel some loss <clears throat> because y'all have been together for a while is what I'm feeling. But you need to go on and pull the band-aid off and quit being apprehensive about it. That's what they said. Yeah, they said make your mind up. It's time for you to retreat because there's been too much treason committed on you and you don't know about it. But they see it. They see and hear it. You overwhelmed, a little embarrassed, I see. You be feeling like throwing in the towel anyway. They said it's time to take time out. Because it's too much bullshit in the game for whoever I'm talking to. And you being unrealistic about it. Slow your thoughts down. And live above emotional influence. You can't make the right decisions based off emotions. They said you moody right now, but you are so unrealistic. Yep, and you know it's some trickery going on. So it got your imagination over right the stop that, stop that, stop that. Stop that. That's causing division within your soul. They said that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, you got a purpose. Lean more towards most high. Get thanks when you open your eyes. That's what you do. You hope for a different. You hope. What you hoping for is something different. You want to be balanced. And in this relationship, you're not balanced. You got some silent senses too, they said. They said you spiritual by nature. They said lean towards your faith and start using your head, not your heart. That's where your blessings going to come in at because you deserve to be blessed. Listen to the prayers being answered is what they said. Yeah, they said listen to it. Listen to them prayers being answered. That's going to come. <clears throat> that's going to come with you leaning towards your inner knowledge. You're a very intuitive person is what they said. You are already intuitive, but this person, they barbaric in their ways. They perverse. They probably only thinking about sex. That's all they thinking about, and you you thinking about getting some money. You thinking about building something, and they out here trying to put you in a third party. Yeah, they said you working overtime, and this person is out. You 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 working, trying to build something, and this person not working like they supposed to. They 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 mediocre at work, but you. Being too nice and too weak. They said you need to be still and think. You fearful about some shit. Because there's a lot of shit hidden. But it's some beastie shit going on. Shit ain't what the fuck it's supposed to be. But it's coming out. Yeah. It's, it's coming out. Some self-mastery and completion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You taking flight. You taking flight. You tired of what's going on yourself. So, like I said, they said you need to shed and dead some things. They want you to be in that damn magician energy. So above as below. Stay connected to most high. And be diplomatic in everything you do. You self-confident, but they need you to be diplomatic in everything you do. Because that's how your energy be scattered. That's what they said. That's how you be frustrated when you be off in your feelings. 
Ain't no profit in our feelings. Ain't no profit in our feelings. You being divinely guided. Spirit said they with you. They with you. You got new love that's coming in. And some sudden money. This person you going to be with. This going to be like a achievement. Because you sick of the cheating. I don't think this person going to be on that. This person going to be faithful. This person in your future. But before this person can even cross your path, you got to do away with the old so the new can come in. Because they said you most definitely are being promoted. Because there will be a proposal of love. And this person who trying to mess you over, they going to look at you like a missed opportunity. But in a minute, you're going to be looking at them with disgust. Disgust. Because you, you, this person, both of y'all think y'all soulmates. But they a player. They a player. And you trust this person. You trusted them. Mm -hmm. You trusting them, but they faking all their ways. They said this person is a soulmate. This person is a tr soulmate, but they not trustworthy at all. They not trustworthy, but they said choose wisely. That's what they said, because some soulmates can be karmic soulmates. A karmic is somebody who don't supposed to be there. They're just there to, t to teach us a lesson, probably a lesson that we had failed. Time and time again. So it's a repeat. Personal setbacks going on. But they want you to forgive yourself. And put an end. To dealing with this person you with. 